Appendix 2, Comparison Chart, Spiritual Gifts versus Hastings' Great Controversy. The following table illustrates that both H. L. Hastings and Ellen White hit upon many of the same points in their respective books. The table is divided into four columns, Theme, Topic, Ellen White and H. L. Hastings. Theme, Noah and the Flood. Topic, Wickedness of the Earth. Ellen White, 1 SG, page 66, H. L. Hastings, page 21. God Calls Noah to Preach, Ellen White, page 69, Hastings, page 22. People Ignored and Mocked Noah, Ellen White, page 70, Hastings, pages 22 to 23. Noah and the Animals Enter the Ark, Ellen White, page 72, Hastings, page 23. Dark Clouds Fill the Sky, Ellen White, page 73, Hastings, page 23. Floods from Above and Below, Ellen White, page 73, Hastings, page 23. Lightning Bolts Flashed, Ellen White, page 74, Hastings, page 24. Cities and Buildings Destroyed, Ellen White, page 74, Hastings, page 24. The Lost Were Wailing, Ellen White, page 74, Hastings, page 24. The Loftiest Points Covered by Water Ellen White, page 76, Hastings, page 24. God Protected the Ark Ellen White, page 75, Hastings, page 24. The Tower of Babel Wicked Congregate in the Plain of Shinar Ellen White, page 91, Hastings, page 25. The Tower of Babel Built Ellen White, page 92, Hastings, page 25. God Confuses the Language, Ellen White, page 92, Hastings, page 26. Builders Were Unable to Communicate, Ellen White, page 92, Hastings, page 26. Abraham. Abraham Called to Leave the Wicked, Ellen White, page 93, Hastings, page 27. The Lord Made Promises to Abraham, Ellen White, page 93, Hastings, page 27. The Exodus. The Israelites dwelled in Goshen. Ellen White, 3SG, page 177, Hastings, page 31. New King Enslaves the Israelites. Ellen White, page 178, Hastings, page 31. Moses is born. Ellen White, page 180, Hastings, page 32. Hidden in Bulrushes, Ellen White, page 180, Hastings, page 32. Educated with Pharaohs, Ellen White, page 183, Hastings, page 32. Dwelt in the Desert, Ellen White, page 187, Hastings, page 32. Moses and Aaron visit Pharaoh, Ellen White, page 197, Hastings, page 33. Pharaoh refuses request. Ellen White, page 198, Hastings, page 33. Pharaoh increases burdens upon the slaves. Ellen White, page 198, Hastings, page 33. The plagues fall. Ellen White, pages 207 to 221, Hastings, pages 34 to 35. The Passover observed. Ellen White, pages 222 to 228, Hastings, page 36. A Death Whale Heard at Midnight, Ellen White, page 229, Hastings, page 36. Pharaoh Releases the Captives, Ellen White, page 229, Hastings, page 36. Camped by the Red Sea, Ellen White, page 230, Hastings, page 36. Pharaoh Pursues the Israelites, Ellen White, page 231, Hastings, pages 36 to 37. Moses Parts the Waters, Ellen White, page 234, Hastings, page 37. Egyptian Army Destroyed, Ellen White, page 235, Hastings, page 39. Israelites Sing to the Lord, Ellen White, pages 236 to 238, Hastings, pages 40 to 41. Other Nations Witness the Exodus, Ellen White, page 242, 
Hastings, page 42. Jesus. The angels announce Christ's birth. Ellen White, 1 SG, page 28. Hastings, page 80. John heralds Christ, baptises. Ellen White, page 29. Hastings, page 81. A mob threatens to throw Jesus from the hill. Ellen White, page 36. Hastings, page 82. Jesus abused during the trial. Ellen White, page 55. Hastings, page 83. Jesus was delivered to be crucified. Ellen White, page 57. Hastings, page 83. The cross was laid on his shoulders. Ellen White, page 58. Hastings, page 83. Nails hammered in. Ellen White, page 59. Hastings, page 83. Hung between thieves. Ellen White, page 59. Hastings, page 83. Given vinegar to drink. Ellen White, page 60. Hastings, page 83. Guard placed at the tomb. Ellen White, page 65. Hastings, page 83. Guards lied about the resurrection. Ellen White, page 68. Hastings, page 84. Returns to heaven with captives. Ellen White, page 69. Hastings, page 85. Jerusalem's destruction. Apostles preached to Jerusalem. Ellen White, GC 88, page 28. Hastings, page 88. God rejected the Jewish nation. Ellen White, page 29. Hastings, page 90. Christians evacuate Jerusalem. Ellen White, page 30. Hastings, page 91. Rome lays siege to Jerusalem. Ellen White, page 31. Hastings, page 91. Women ate their own children. Ellen White, page 32. Hastings, page 92. The city and temple destroyed. Ellen White, pages 33 to 35. Hastings, page 92. Persecution. Death and suffering of Christians. Ellen White, 1SG, page 103. Hastings, page 94. Apostasy. Christian church corrupted. Ellen White, page 105. Hastings, page 96. Some remained pure, didn't bow. Ellen White, page 105. Hastings, page 96. Bible prohibited. Ellen White, page 108. Hastings, page 97. Commandments made void. Ellen White, page 110. Hastings, page 97. Reformation. Revival and restoration. Ellen White, pages 120 to 123. Hastings, pages 105 to 108. Post-Reformation apostasy and worldliness. Ellen White, pages 126 to 128. Hastings, pages 109 to 111. Final judgment. The Lord has a controversy with the nations. Ellen White, GC 88, page 656. Hastings, page 134. Slain shall cover the earth. Ellen White, page 657. Hastings, page 134. Son of Man Appears in Clouds, Ellen White, page 643, Hastings, page 143. Wicked Turned to Stubble, Ellen White, page 673, Hastings, page 146. Lake of Fire Destroys the Wicked, Ellen White, page 672, Hastings, page 165. New Earth, New Jerusalem Descends, Ellen White, page 663, Hastings, page 166. Tree of Life, Ellen White, page 675, Hastings, page 166. No Light Needed, Ellen White, page 676, Hastings, page 166. Righteous Unite in Songs of Praise, Ellen White, page 678, Hastings, page 167. Sinners Are No More, Ellen White, page 678, Hastings, page 167. Then we have a new table entitled Examples of Plagiarism and we've got two columns on the left Ellen White Spiritual Gifts Volume 1 1858 and on the right H. L. Hastings Great Controversy 1858. Ellen White quote 
As Jesus hung upon the cross, some who passed by reviled him, wagging their heads. Page 59. Hastings. Jews derided him. Pharisees and priests wagged their heads contemptuously. Page 83. Ellen White. They cruelly scourged him and put an old purple kingly robe upon him and bound his sacred head with a crown of thorns. They put a reed in his hand and mockingly bowed to him and saluted him with Hail, King of the Jews. They then took the reed from his hand and smote him with it upon the head. They covered his head with an old garment, blindfolded him, and then struck him in the face and cried out, Prophesy unto us who it was that smote thee. Pages 50 and 51. Hastings. They bound his temples with a twisted thorn, they beat him cruelly with their hands, they arrayed him in a gorgeous robe, blindfolded him, and bade him prophesy unto them. They drew his blood with the gory scourge, they gave him a reed for a sceptre, and cried in mockery, Hail, King of the Jews! Page 83. Ellen White. The curse of God followed them and they were a byword and a derision to the heathen and to so-called Christians. They were degraded, shunned and detested, as if the brand of Cain were upon them. I saw that God had forsaken the Jews as a nation, but that individuals among them will yet be converted. Early Writings, Spiritual Gifts, page 213. Hastings have left their name for a curse to the world, have been a hissing and a byword among all nations. Yet, if they continue not in unbelief, God is able to graft them in, and so shall be saved. Page 93. Ellen White. The will of God plainly revealed in his word was covered up with error and tradition, which have been taught as the commandments of God. Page 111. Hastings. The truths of God were hidden beneath countless fables. The commandments of God were made void through man's traditions. Page 97. The same extra-biblical points. Curiously, Mrs. White makes some of the same extra-biblical points that H. L. Hastings makes in his Great Controversy. There are places where H. L. Hastings provides facts or points not found in Scripture and Mrs. White makes the same points. This indicates Mrs. White may have used Hastings' unique ideas as a source for her own inspired writings. Example 1. The Scoffers in Noah's Time Both Hastings and White make a point in describing how the entrance of the animals into the ark made no impact upon the wicked. The Bible says nothing about how impressed or unimpressed the wicked were at the mysterious event of the animals entering the ark. So, from whence did Ellen White get the idea? H. L. Hastings, Great Controversy, page 23, 1858. The beasts of the earth and fowls of heaven, moved by a strange impulse, come and find refuge with the servant of the Lord. But the scoffing world pass heedlessly on. Ellen White, Spiritual Gifts, Volume 3, page 69, 1864. Notwithstanding the solemn exhibition they had witnessed of God's power, of the unnatural occurrence of the beasts leaving the forests and fields and going into the ark, and the angel of God clothed with brightness and terrible in majesty, descending from heaven and closing the door, yet they hardened their hearts and continued to revel and sport over the signal manifestations of divine power. Interestingly enough, Mrs. White later parted company with Hastings on this point. In 1890, when she published Patriarchs and Prophets, she changed the story so that the antediluvians did indeed take notice of the event. Quote, Suddenly a silence fell upon the mocking throng. Beasts of every description, the fierce as well as the most gentle, were seen coming from mountain and forest and quietly making their way toward the ark. The world looked on in wonder, some in fear. Philosophers were called upon to account for the singular occurrence, but in vain. It was a mystery which they could not fathom. End of quote. This is a direct contradiction of her earlier statement that says the wicked 
continued to revel and sport over the signal manifestations of divine power. One must wonder which account of the story was inspired by visions. Example 2. Noah, a fanatic. Both Hastings and White use the word fanatic in reference to Noah. The Bible never infers that either Noah or his preaching was regarded as fanatical by anyone. This is simply an assumption made by Hastings in his great controversy and picked up by Ellen White in hers. H.L. Hastings, The Church Not in Darkness, page 12, 1859. The world denominate it Noah's folly, the fruit of insensate and blind fanaticism, the result of his fanatical preaching. Ellen White's Spiritual Gifts, volume 3, page 65, 1864. Noah directed, he preached, he worked while the people looked on in amazement and regarded him as a fanatic. Example 3. Appearance of Earth, same after fall. Both Hastings and White make the same extra-biblical point that the curse did not change the appearance of the earth after the fall. There is no scriptural evidence that this statement is true. H. L. Hastings, The Church Not in Darkness, page 10, 1859. The curse has fallen, but still the earth retains its primitive form and to a great extent its pristine glory. Ellen White, Spiritual Gifts, volume 3, page 61, 1864. The curse did not change at once the appearance of the earth. It was still rich in the bounty God had provided for it.